Hello, welcome back. In today's video, let us learn about fractions in real life. First question. Priya jogs 1 by 4 km in the morning and 1 by 4 km in the evening. How far does she jog each day? We will have to find out how far she jogs each day. Right? So, when we add two distances together, that is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. In the morning, in morning 1 by 4 kilometer. Also, in evening, 1 by 4 kilometer. So, when we add 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, as the denominators are same, the denominator will be same itself. 1 plus 1, we will have to add only the numerators, right? So, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 by 4 is nothing but 1 by 2, right? So, she jogs 1 by 2 kilometer each day. So, we can say here Priya jogs a total of 1 by 2 kilometer every day. Next question, Raman read 1 by 6 of a book on Monday and 2 by 6 of a book on Tuesday. What fraction of the book is left to be read by Raman? To find out what fraction of the book is left for Raman to read, we need to subtract the fractions which he has already read from one whole book. On Monday, he read Monday 1 by 6 and Tuesday 2 by 6 of the book. So, the total fraction of the book which he has already read, we will have to find out first that is 1 by 6 plus 2 by 6. As the numerators are same, the numerator remains the same. 1 plus 2 will be 3. So, he has read, fraction of the book he has read is 3 by 6. Yes. So, now we have to subtract this from one whole book. Yes. To find out what fraction is left to be read. So, one whole minus 3 by 6 which has already read. When do we call it as one, by, one whole? Yes. As it is out of out. Which means 6 out of 6 we will call it as 1 whole. Yes. So 6 by 6 out of 6 by 6 he has read 3 by 6 which needs to be subtracted that is minus 3 by 6. Denominators are same. So 6 will remain as 6 itself. And here 6 minus 3 will be 3. 3 by 6 is nothing but just simplify so that it will be 3, 1 times will be 3, 3, 2 times 6. So, 1 by 2. So, Raman has 1 by 2 of the book left to be read. He needs to read still 1 by 2 part of a book. Next question. Saurabh's mother bought a watermelon from the market. She cut it into eight pieces and put them into refrigerator. Saurabh ate three pieces in the afternoon. He then ate two pieces at night. What fraction of the whole watermelon did he eat altogether? Here, Saurabh ate total pieces, total three pieces in the afternoon. Three pieces out of 8 pieces in the afternoon and 2 pieces at night. Yes, 2 pieces out of 8 pieces at night. To find out what fraction of a whole watermelon he ate, we'll have to add these two fractions, right? So, we'll add. So, 8 remains the same and 3 plus 2 will be 
So here we can say Saurav ate a total of 5 by 8 of the whole watermelon. Out of one whole watermelon, he has eaten 5 pieces. And how many pieces are left? Yes, 3 pieces are left. One whole watermelon means 8 by 8. He has eaten 5 pieces out of 8 pieces. That means still 3 more pieces are left out of 1 whole watermelon. So students, I hope the video was useful to understand about fractions. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.